So what I'd like to show you today is a squat variation I like to do on, I would say, a more relatively advanced person with squatting. I'm going to leave the push through bar off a spring, and if you could pick it up and then turn yourself away from the tower. I'm going to have my hands holding in just about like shoulder width apart, and then take your feet into Pilates stance. Depending on the height of the person, the arms, the legs, you'll have to adjust how close and how far they might need to stand. But I think this is about okay for me. And then I'll get myself settled in tall posture. My arms just hanging and relaxing. And then take a breath. Feel yourself grow a little taller. Your feet a little more grounded. Now without this bar on a spring itself, it's gonna be a lot of the connection of your arms to your back and how it's holding you to be able to do these things. So I'll start off by leaning a little into the wind, feeling my body pull forward. And now if I can here, I'll lift my heels, full grip strength with your hands around the bar, and then lower your heels back down. So we'll start here. The sense should be that your arms stay straight, but the bar itself rises just because you do. And then lower them down. So we'll do another. It feels like my hands are pulling me in a little. That's where this lean assists you. Now with the heels lifted, take another breath. Let's bend your knees super wide. The heels feel like they draw up even taller. The bar goes down again because I do. And then when we get to the person's individual bottom, you push yourself back up straight. Lots of things will want to happen here, including a, a drop down or a curve to your back. See if you can't seek for a pretty much upright alignment, leaning into it okay, right? If you can sit onto your feet, awesome. You just have to be able to get back up again. <laughs> All right, so, so tall. The extra trickery being that when you go past a certain point, the bar doesn't go straight down, right? It goes out and back. So you have to adjust for that point where the bar starts to feel like it actually pulls to the back of the wall. Just kind of right now. <laughs> and then feel yourself back, up to top. Good, I'm gonna put my feet down and tuck them separated. Just for a little extra, something that's completely different from here. I'm gonna round my back. Feel the movement now have to occur in your wrists. So I have to kind of turn my hands on the bar so that I'm pushing up with my arms now. And then see if you can't allow your wrists to just turn in the bar to come back up. This has to be like where my mindfulness goes now. I do my round back thing. But I also have to move in the wrists. So that when I get this position, I can feel the uh, boomerang like shapes to my body. But you lift your heels again pushing up with your arms, heels, arms up, ribs are lifted. If you got this far, <laughs> give this a shot and bend your knees and see if you can draw your chest closer to them, but my arms are still always pushing up. And then come all the way with the heels still lifted. Two more here. So we definitely have a different organization for your spine. You can flip this maneuver in your mind onto the mat. You can see all those overlaps there. Pushing the arms up, pulling the ribs to a lift, and coming down, but very leg-led on the up. Once you get yourself lifted, try to move inside your wrists again, and lower the bar with control. All right. So that's a pretty tricky variation. Give that a shot and definitely into your stronger client.